Well, the U.S. Senate race has now drawn a familiar name. John Ossoff is most famous for narrowly losing the most expensive congressional race in history. That happened in 2017 in the 6th Congressional District. His advertising made him a name in Metro Atlanta, and now he wants to take on Senator David Perdue. 11 Alive's Doug Richards spoke with John Ossoff this morning. No. Doug? Well, Jeff, John Ossoff is the Democrat who lost that wildly expensive Congressional race, congressional race to Karen Handel two years ago. That may that race, as you said, made him a household name. Most of that money went to political advertising, much of which either backed or clobbered John Ossoff. For a hot minute there, it made him Georgia's most prominent Democrat until Stacey Abrams came along. Now Ossoff wants to win the U.S. Senate nomination of a party that has been drawn recently to women and candidates of color. I asked Ossoff about that. Voters judge candidates on the merits of their vision, their ideas, their integrity, their character. I don't think that voters reflexively support one or the other candidate because of our race or our gender. They want to know what we're going to do for them. Democrats Sarah Riggs Amico, Ted Terry, and Teresa Tomlinson are already in the race. When he ran for Congress two and a half years ago, Ossoff was very guarded in his criticism of President Trump. Today, he used the word obscene to describe Trump's presidency. And he wants a crack at Purdue, at least in part, because Purdue is such a vocal surrogate for Trump.